And welcome back. So, we just had ourselves a little rebellion here with our previous king, and now that previous king just died. So, now the question is how bad will it be? The Duke of Munster hates me because I have too many duchies, apparently. It's unfortunate. And the demand size is too big as well. And I hold too many electoral titles. And all in all, I'm a bad man. Alright, we'll be revoking Brafen in any case. So we'll grant our son the county of Connaught as well as the duchy. There you go. Go and we will educate him ourselves, I think. Yeah, probably for the best. So, educate child, you with me. There we go. That should fix some of our problems a tiny bit. Alright. So, I need... I have Duchy of Meath as well, and Duchy of Moray... Duchy of Leinster... Could give it to either one of these two. He hates me significantly less, so... Fine! We need loyal dukes, as far as that is possible, so... I suppose we'll grant some titles. Duke of Dells and Prince of Jerusalem, eh? Yeah, fuck him. So, what else does he hate? Medium Crown Authority, well, he's bound to hate that. They all hate crap like that, but... Okay, direct vassalage. I have Dublin, and I have... All of this. Dunstaffnage, in Segal, stuff like that. Well, I'm not gonna worry about that just yet. Fabricate claims on for me there, we will eventually need them for when we actually, you know, are able to fight wars outside our own realm. Kindly retake that. There we go, and go and smash what troops they have gathered in Clydesdale. There we go. So far, so good. What? You actually retreated? Oh, that was bullshit. From four troops! S well, fun times with misclicks. With me, the green dragon. And we caught someone. A mayor. I don't need him. I can ransom him off. And actually, I can get rid of my boats. And in fact... can detach some troops and send them elsewhere, like Clydesdale, for example. Siege that out, and yes, that plot went down the drain when the old king died, along with all the money I had invested into it. No matter, no matter. We shall soon rebuild it and split up those family lines as well. Seriously, you lost your crown and now you're trying to retake it. Really? It's interesting. So complete bullshit, but interesting all the same. Yeah. They really need this to attack several places at once, as far as that is at all possible. And Jesus, they retook it already? God damn it. Smash them. There we go. And it's mine once again. S 
so much for that duchess and what are you fracking serious okay he has new wife hopefully she'll give him a son and those lines will be split up like that I don't want that to happen don't want them joining together like that now if I wasn't at war with my fracking vassals I could take Durham back because it's rebelled against the King of England as is though what can I do what can I actually do nothing build some castle walls there not that there's much point I suppose I'm gonna check my city see if there's anything that I can build that will make them happier and by happier I mean richer there we go Yeah, a lot of titles are gonna get revoked after this, I think. Oh yes, there's gonna be some problems for you guys. Cause you rebelled against me and I don't like it when you do that. Not much point moving them, they're all needed there. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna leave my troops where they are, they can retake that if they want. I'll be able to retake it again swiftly enough once some of these sieges are finished. Actually, I want to educate him. I think I forgot to do that. There we go. Okay. Of course, I lose a bit of money every time I take that place fucking vikings well I'm just gonna have to take it Duchess of Galloway it sucks to be them and there we have some of the Northumberland troops causing trouble for me as they are yeah, they'll try to take Gowrie, it seems. Which is bad. I have a lot of cities that... Not that those cities are currently worth much, what with the Vikings having fucked them. But... Couldn't be helped. Troops are busy here. And I'll send these 2,000 up there, and all Loki should be willing to surrender. Primogeniture. Yeah, right, bitch. Oh, the Earl of Brafen. Speaking of... You can rot in the oubliette. You are a rebel, little girl. Oh, the crown laws of England do not allow revocations. Well, that sucks. And we do not want anyone to be craven here. So, 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 Craven is yours. Enjoy. The Duke of Ulster. Oh, you have been excommunicated at the behest of the Earl of Teviotdale, eh? Speaking of... I believe he may be on gavel kind, but... Oh. Right. Just the one son, eh? Interesting. Well then, we've dealt with this so far. God damn it, Vikings! Are you fucking kidding me? Nobody leaves the dungeon alive. Nobody. Okay, so my prisoners. 
Oh, look, a duchess. <sighs> Can't do anything about that. Can I? Countess of Galloway can't do anything about that. Countess of Lothian. I took her duchy. I kind of have to let her go. Yeah, she's gonna hate me. Okay, what if I kill this guy? Would that help? Probably would. Okay, I have too many duchies and I need to do something with them. You have a son. That's certainly nice. And the Earl of Teviotdale. Well, it's unlikely that you'll be able to hold on to it. But, good luck. Much the same goes for you. Much the same goes for you, although he won't be able to attack for a while. It's always the opportunity of killing him off. The Earl of Oriel, eh? Right. You are Scottish and you are a Catholic. You also hate me about you. You are Scottish, you are Catholic, and you don't hate me. So, Ulster is yours. I hope you prove more loyal than your predecessor, for your own sake. Hehehe. <laughs> Look at me being all threatening and shit. Speaking of, are you fucking kidding me? Fucking dukes. Speaking of, we have Durham here, which is independent, which is supposed to be mine. So let us retake this ancient and just claim of ours and... Well, you know what I mean. Time to take a piece. Once our troops gather, I should be able to... God damn it! Shh, the bitch died? God damn it, and the Isles are once again under Jerusalem. I'm gonna have to do something about that as well. Fuck's sake. Alright, let's try this again. Of all the time she could have picked to kick the bucket, I was kind of worried that the rebellion had ended, but no, it's just that one bitch dying. So that's okay. Whatever, chill the fuck out. Just a few more troops. Okay, ready to assault. Kill them all. Before they can peace out. No, the siege does not lengthen. What the fuck? Can't stand Vikings. And peasants. Can't stand it. I need to finish this and quickly before they peace out with the King of England. There we go. Dealt with that. And minus some peasants. Who cares, there are... There are always more when those came from. And there we are. This stormy time is at an end and we are more or less okay. So... Would I get at attacking an ally penalty? I would. However, I have a de jour claim on the Isle of Man. I probably should have checked how many troops he had, but fuck him. 
How many troops does he have? Not enough. His troops are just under not enough. Oh, that's actually pretty significantly better. Okay, then. What about a marshal? Oh, yeah, nice. So, technology-wise, how are we looking? Not excellent, but not bad. Can't really buy any more awesome technologies, but we're good for now. I'm probably gonna need ships and need to go over to Jerusalem itself. And really, when you have enough troops to assault, really assault, it's generally better to attack because these random events which mean plus, you know, minus 1% troops for the attacker and crap like that will, you lose, you'll often lose more troops that way. It's at least so it seems to me. I could very well be wrong about that. So, duckling. About the de jour claim. He would take a white piece. He thinks things are going his way. Well, have to disabuse him of that delusion, I suppose. Things are fine over there for now. Which of my holdings will I want to be rid of? Well, probably something like Argyle. I'm thinking. Or maybe Bakken? Maybe even Katniss. We'll see. So... Hello, duckling. So nice of you to visit. And with too few troops to make a difference. Excellent. Certainly easier to just hold this and let them try and retake it with their troops than to actually attack. You know, Jerusalem itself. And I'm just gonna park there and they can try and re-siege the Isle of Man. Right now, in fact. God damn it, fucking Vikings. Okay, captured some princes, excellent. And looks like he has, he's out of troops. And the Isle of Man is now mine, and I can usurp the Duchy of the Isles as well. I suppose I will be... Oh, God damn it! Lost all those troops because of the fucking Vikings, I think. I hate those faggots so goddamn much. No, 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 you stay right there. Heavy infantry, it's all heavy infantry for us. Okay. Oh, God damn it, he's cruel. Yes, let's just reduce his food, that's less nasty. Speaking of, I have some prisoners, I should probably... Not him. Eh, we'll let the kids go at least, I suppose. Might as well. But God damn it. None of my... Only half of my troops made it home because of one Viking war band. God damn it. Oh, you little shit. Oh, no, 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 no. You are not going anywhere. Suck it, bitch. 
That's right, leave. There's no place for you here, you fucker. Alright, so... I think it's time we got rid of the aisles. Who did you marry? Well, you are a genius yourself, so you should be able to scrape out a genius kid. Of... or two. Hopefully. So, County of the Isle of Man. So, County of Argyle. And County of Insegal. That duchy should be under Gavalkind, so it should separate out. Yes, once he has sons of his own. There we go. So we're down to six of seven, and all in all it's looking pretty good right now. Do I have a claim here yet? I do not. I disapprove of this message deeply. Okay, it looks like these are all maxed out, more or less. Fine. So... Training grounds for levy reinforcement rate. Alright. And next thing we'll start building some... Universities in the castle... Uh, sorry, in the cities we do have, rather than building more cities, which I could certainly do in some place like Dublin. So eventually I think I'll hold something like Moray, Gowry, Dublin, Middlesex, and Gwynedd. Probably. Nice, strong holdings, while the rest can go wherever, really. And Bakken has been raided, of course. And it's not that strong a castle in any case. And here they have built universities on their own already, which is fine. Universities, of course, adding to our tech rate. Both increasing the technology spread and giving us straight up tech points. And it's time we finally upgraded our crown authorities, now that things have calmed down somewhat. Yes, crown authority, bitches. There we go. There we go, looking good. Right, technology. So, economy. Looking better and better. The ahead penalty should be going down some anyway. Not that much any yet, but still. Suppose someone has to be the first to get these things and... Oh well. Hello. Grand tournament, eh? Sure. Right, I wanted to kill that fucker, but... Not much point is there. I mean, he'll die easy enough, and... Oh, and we have a totally different guy in charge there anyway. So that's fine. The kid, though, what can we do with the kid? Oh, that would be bad. We don't want her dying at all. Can we betroth her to anyone? Make sure she gets married to someone halfway. How about you? Sure. Mm, yeah, no, it's not gonna work is unfortunate, but it's not also not something I can very much help, either. Tournament. 
Would you please give me a claim on something? Okay. So, the King of England. No way he has only 3,000 troops. I'm not buying that. Right. Stuff is happening. And stuff is still happening. Oh, cool! I got the third place in the melee. Nice! What's our succession looking like? Succession looks pretty damn secure. Excellent. Ah, and a genius kid. Excellent. Most excellent. A female genius kid, but a genius kid all the same, so... The city is also looking pretty good, although, as you can see, there's a lot of stuff that isn't protected by forts and can be easily looted, that, which is somewhat bad, as some people would have us believe. Like the Vikings, for example. They would have us believe that. Personally, eh, but... You know. Wait. Sixteen claim on Mercia. So they're fighting amongst themselves there. So can't see the royal laws of England, apparently. You're that guy captured when the Vikings came raiding. No, you get to die in the Oubliette. Oh, and I lost Gregarious. Crap. That's not good. Still, still, still. Yeah. Okay, this sound is glitching out. There. Okay, this is actually a pretty good place to finish it. In any case, we've we've had a bit of rough weather, but we have finished unifying Ireland. England has been crushed. We prevented some bullshit. We've dealt with a rebellion. All in all. We're doing well, so thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys next time.